So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the rocket or the missile fly upwards from the ship. Um, you may remember that at the moment you fire the missile and rather than going straight up it kind of veers off to zero zero. So we are going to comment out this line here, number 26, and instead we are going to use this line of code here. So this is animate the rocket fire, so the rocket fire is obviously the missile, to the position of ship X, so that depends on where the ship is. If the ship is there, then the rocket will fire from here. If the ship is to the right, it will fire from that position or that position. And if you remember that zero, 00 is in the top left hand corner of the screen, so 0 is here, the rocket will move on upwards. Um, we also then, after we fired, we want to be able to reload. So I'm going to add this simple elif statement. And what this does is it checks for a keyboard press of the word or, or the letter R. So if the keyboard R is pressed, the rocket fire position equals ship X, ship Y. Now, I can't just put um, uh, 500 or, or the middle of the screen 500 zero because obviously the ship may be over here and therefore the rocket needs to appear on that ship. So that's going to allow us to do that. And the final part is to change the skin or the alien's costume back to an alien. So to do this, we're basically going to have a slight delay. Uh, the alien will change to uh, the picture or the logo of the pie, and then it will um, give a half second delay, and then it will drop back to the alien. And this uh, will slightly improve the game. Let's move that up. There we go. Right, press save. Back to the terminal, and we're going to run it. Uh, undent does not match line indentation. Okay. Oh yes, one out. Right, let's try that again. So save. Here we go. Right. So before the rocket went off to the left, um, and this time the rocket's going to move upwards. So let's see if we can hit this. So press space bar. Rocket goes up. Uh, it didn't change or there was a slight delay. We need to reload, so we're going to press R on the keyboard. There's the rocket. There is the missile. Uh, I don't think that delay worked with the uh, picture changing, so we might have to have a look at that. Let's have a look. No, it did change. Okay, so let's go back to the code. Let's take that out. Save. Let's run it again. Right, let's try this. So, fire the rocket. Okay, too quick on that one. So we need to um, have a quick change of uh, costume on that one. So let's stop that. Okay. Because at the moment what happens is the uh, you hit the alien and it changes, but then we need to change back. Oh, I missed it. So reload. Ah, oh. come on, <laughs> the aliens. The problem here is the aliens as fast as me, so I'm never going to catch it. Um, I might need to change it to twos. Plus two in here, so maybe if we're going, let's go. If we're going left, let's go plus two. Okay, save that. So now I should go twice as fast to the right. Yeah, right. Here we go. So fire, and we change to the Raspberry Pi. Press R on the keyboard to reload. Um, what I need is that uh, to change now back into the previous alien picture. Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll have a look at. Um, let's just have a quick, quick look.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is, if you miss the alien, I'm going to place in the alien picture here. So what's going to happen is you're going to draw the picture of the alien and it's going to test for a collide and if it's zero it's obviously going to keep the picture of the alien okay which means that once we've hit it when there isn't a collision it will go back to the picture of the alien i'm hoping that that should work so run the space game here we go missed me press fire boom hit it changes back press r for reload and then we're going to catch it that way so here we go get ready press fire changes checks for collision no collision reload and we're sorted excellent so thank you very much for your time um obviously there's still some change we could make perhaps we could get the rocket to be able to move up and down um, that's by changing the um, y coordinates and we could also get the alien to snake about and move in different directions um, uh, obviously if you make any of that you know drop me a line share it i'd be happy to upload it to youtube and uh, and have a look at it right thanks again for your time uh, enjoy your coding and um, don't forget to subscribe and like